So we have three different terms, one, two, and three. Okay? Two of these are similar or the same? Um, the nine and the eight are the same. The first one, this one right here, it has an M with it, so it's, it's not the same as the two. So first thing we have to do is we have to get rid of this nine and over here. <clears throat> this cancel out. To do next is you bring this to the bottom and divide by negative 20. Uh, we got rid of the nine. Eight minus nine is negative one. <clears throat> In order to eliminate the denominator of anything, okay, we have to multiply by it, all right? So if it is uh, the number on the bottom, you multiply by that number to get rid of it, all right? So this is what I meant. I want to end by itself. In order to have n by itself, this negative 20 has to be gone, all right? So in order to eliminate this negative 20, I multiply the top by negative 20. Since I multiply the left side by negative 20, I multiply the right side by negative 20. <coughs> Whatever I do on one side, I do the same thing on the other side, all right? This negative 20 on top and on the bottom cancel each other out. So what I have left with is n equals negative 1 times negative 20 is positive 20. That right there is your answer. Negative, we need a positive 1, boom, boom. 0 plus 1 is 1, and this one is cacao. Write the bottom number. All right? Okay? So in order to get rid of the bottom number, you have to multiply by that number. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So multiply by 20. Multiply by 20. Those cancel out. 20 times 1 is 20 equals n. Leverage there is your final solution. Plus 6 on both sides. And then last, you multiply by 14 on both sides. So this one is gone. B equals 14. This two right here is the denominator of both B and seven. All right? So you cannot do this. Uh, I'm a minus seven first and minus seven first, all right? You can't do it because this right here is kind of hold those two together, all right? So in order to do anything, you must get rid of this two first, all right? Two is the bottom number, the denominator. To get rid of the bottom number, all you gotta do is multiply by that number, okay? So the two, we just multiply by two, multiply by two. What happened here is this two will cross out this two. All right? So that's gone. Then what you have left with is just that. So we have b plus 7 equals negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Last step is to get b by itself. All right, so you gotta get rid of this seven, so minus seven on both sides. B equals negative 13. I multiply by 16 parts. Is that what you try to say? Yeah, multiply. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what happened to this 16 and this 16? One cross out. 
So one cross out, so multiply this, and then cross, cross out. out. Okay? Then you multiply this together. Yes. All right, so this is negative 16. Oh, negative 16. And then minus 2. No, x is no. Yeah, x minus 2. By the way, I didn't say this is right or wrong yet, okay? okay. You might be wrong on right, okay? <laughs> All right, what do we do next? Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, think of this as a river, okay? Think of an X as a tiger. <laughs> think of something, the number by itself as a piece of chicken, <laughs> okay? You cannot leave the tiger with a piece of chicken. All right. So, which which piece of chicken is on the wrong side? The one with the tiger, right? Yeah. So you have to oh, push it over. Yeah. All right. Push it. Over. Yeah, you gotta push it over. So right. you won't eat. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. That's it. So that's math. It's just about chicken and tiger. <laughs> yeah. Now we have the tiger one side, the chicken on the other side. The tiger can't swim. The chicken can't swim. Yeah. If you put this in 